Okay, so this is a Scudo, this is the driver's side. Um, the passenger side is hampered a bit by the battery box, but this uh, waterproof cover just rubber cover just pops off. We're taking that plug off, it just sits in the back like a gator in effect. Rubber gator goes up to the bulb, pull it off, and this is the plug, it just pulls off three pin. A little bit awkward, just jiggle it about. This hasn't been off for a while. Okay, so you can actually leave it in the rubber. That's how it comes off. It's just a three pin. That's the top. There's two side pins. Plug on the back of the bulb. Now this gets difficult to show you. That just pulls off. Okay. I'll just put it down there. And then, there's a, like most of them, it's very hard to show you. It's um, a spring clip holds it to the top. It's hinged at the bottom. So the, there's like two bent bits at the bottom of the bulb. press the top bit you feel it's like a chicken wishbone shape or upside down so the two the two splay bits like that are at the bottom and the top bit you pull in is at the top so just on the other side Feel around for it because it's not easy to see. And yes, so if I can show you, there it is. That's the that just on this side you push that away towards the uh, away from the engine if you like towards the wall and it's the same with the but you push away the opposite way and it pushes away from a little uh, guide at the top and then it just drops down I don't know if you can see that hinges down and the ball this one's fallen out I've been pulling it about so I would fit in it's the opposite okay so this is the the new bulb, remember, don't touch it with your fingers. And it, the two bottom, uh, it's really hard to talk, the two bottom ones, so I hold it like that, the two bottom lugs, I can't point them, I'm holding, it's that one there, that one there, and where my pinky is, they're the bottom, so they fit in the bottom just in front of that spring clip. You don't twist it or anything, just make sure it's lined up nicely. So you've got your, I'll well, use the old ball, that's what it's going to go in like that shape. So you've got your that's the top and then you've got one on each side that's how it goes in so the corresponding that one and that one they sit if I can square it up a bit they sit like that so your top one we plug that one and that one and then those are the two lugs there and there fit in the bottom of the housing the spring, if we get back to the main thing, I can, there's pipes everywhere. The spring then just, if you can see it, just 
once it's firmly in place in the actual housing, it goes over, you meet a bit of resistance, then you just press forward till you find that little lug at the top, and you sort of push it a bit further past and then hook it back on, and then that's it, it's in. I don't know if I can show you close up, that's the oh. problem. That's it in place. Two bottom bits in there. The spring has come over the top and hooked into the lug at the top. You sort of you push it to one side and then hook it over the top. You can feel it. Now your rubber your waterproof gator slides over the top of the plug. Like so. And then you just line up your just plugs into the bottom of that. This is the passenger side with the battery side. Now you can see there's a light, the hose, and the battery. The hose on this one pulls out of the way. So that's about it. So you can get to it. A little bit tighter, but it is doable. Okay, so both headlights. Now done. So a little bit fiddly. And the Fiat Scudo, man. This is a 04 edge, so a little bit fiddly, but I was trying doable. To explain in the van when I was doing it was these two looks at the bottom. So if we're in, the, if I'm sat in the driver's seat, you'll be facing that way. So you've got your looks like that. They fit into the bottom. And your, your wishbone type spring effect hooks under here, but it'd be the other way around. So it hooks in from this side here. There, so your wishbone comes up like that, up over the top. This is the spring, and then actually on the body of the light itself, there's a little metal. I, it's like a, it just sticks out a little bit of metal. It's like a hook in effect, and as the wishbone spring pulls up, clamps up against the back of this ball seating, it hooks on. And that's all that holds it in place. So once it's sitting in it in the headlamp glass like that, then in effect you. See, you bottom parts of your spring are already sat in the, the headlamp base that it unhooks and drops down and then you lift it up and hook it and then the two sides of the spring come up against the back of this bulb pushing it into the, the headlamp unit it's, it sounds worse than it is or it sounds a little bit and because you can't really see it in situ, actually on the car, I'm just trying to explain. So, spring comes up, and then it just pulls to one side, and you can feel it with your finger where it hooks on. And once it's hooked on, the bulb stays in place. Now, the actual plug bit that's the wire bit, it's got those that's one at the top, the two pins each side. Very simple, just slots on. Just make sure that you've got your rubber dust cover that goes on there. And it's a funny one because it's not a totally sealed one. It's just a tight fitting. Um, a lot of the cars I've come across, they're sealed. You know, they're all one piece. There's no hole in it. Whereas the uh, Fiat ones, for some reason, 
the wires stick out the back so there's a hole in the rubber but it must do the job and just remember halogen bulbs don't touch the, the glass bit with your fingers this is a the dead one the one that's broken because what happens is the the oils and the grease from your fingers even though you think you've got clean fingers it's like a sweat in, in effect it will coat this glass and because of the intense heat well if you've been round an halogen bulb even in your house how what hot they get well they're so intense it actually it's hot enough to burn the grease that you put on there with your fingers that as it sounds but it could start a small fire I've never actually come across one but that's why they say it'll probably damage the glass as well but there you go I don't know the technical reasons but as far as I know it's the grease and the residues in your fingers on the glass so just you can do it it's a bit fiddly but you can do it by holding the metal rim again I've got little fingers so I can get into a lot of places but the uh, Scudo not too bad at all so uh, if you like what you see please subscribe for more thanks for watching Service Canine UK till next time see you later